Hi everyone, I've just come back from watching Birds of Prey at the cinema. And it was really, really shit. That could just be the review, to be honest with you. Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Do you know what the hallmark of a really good film is? It stays with you. For whatever reason, it could be haunting and just prey on your mind. It could have some incredible acting which just stays with you. Particularly, let's say, with the Joker and the uh, final scene in the uh, talk show, which was just so tense. Won't give any spoilers, just in case. Or the music, or the visuals, or the direction. All of these things. Birds of Prey is the reverse. I have just left the cinema, come home, fed my kitty cat, and now making a video, and I can barely remember a thing that happened in this film. Because it was so incredibly boring! This film is not woke. I just want to get that out of the way right now. If you're expecting a... Oh, well, they do this and they do that and it's the bad mans and blah, blah, blah. There's plenty of white man bad. But this film ain't woke. No, 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 no. There are a couple of moments that it tries to be. And in actual fact, one of those moments is very good. It's actually very good because it's doing the exact opposite of what the writer actually intends the scene to do. But that's the hilarity of it. But other than that, it's just cast off lines like, Ow! Everybody should take advantage of rich white people! That, I mean, that's as woke as it gets. Its problem, and it's got multiple problems, I'll just be frank, is that it's just incredibly forgettable and boring, and there isn't any standout performances, and some of the characters are dreadful, and when there is the odd moment to shine... Because the best part of this movie, ironically, is by far Ewan McGregor. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> uh, and that's not what I want in a film. But it could just be a personal preference that I actually like films to, to make sense and be fun. This film, to me, didn't even know what it was trying to achieve. Uh, whether or not it was trying to be funny. Whether it was trying to be goofy. Whether it tried to break the fourth wall in certain instances. Where it tried to be serious. Where it tried to be disturbing. This film was so mixed that it, it managed to do none. Because there's, there's like three moments where she breaks the fourth wall. And it feels completely out of place. Because unlike Deadpool, who does it on a regular basis. It feels as, just like, why? Why, why, why are you breaking the fourth wall? It's not adding anything to the show, to the film. Whereas with Deadpool, it did. Uh, the comedy is not funny for 90% of it. I smirked once, I think, during the film. And in the cinema that I went to, which was empty, but... It was a Friday afternoon that we went to see the film. So people are at work, kids are at school. Not that this is a kids show. Uh, so that bit was a bit... Fuck! Oh, sorry. Did I, did, I just, did I just say an out of place swear word for no reason whatsoever? Oh, yeah. There's quite a bit of that in Birds of Prey as well. Just swearing for the sake of swearing, even if it doesn't fit the scene. It's like in Star Trek Picard. Where they're just, you know, having a regular scene. Oh, the, the Romulans, we needed to save them. Fuck off, Picard. Whoa, where did that come from? Completely out of place, completely unnecessary. But if you swear Z's, oh my god, so edgy wedgies. About as edgy as a butter knife. So, because I am rapidly forgetting, moment by moment, what actually happened in this film... Because for the first 45 minutes, I pretty much sat like this. Bored off my tits! I'll try and get into some things that happened. But first of all, the cast. 
Black Canary, nothing to do with Black Canary whatsoever. Just called Black Canary. No relation to the comic book character other than she has the vocals. Other than that, nothing. Let's not respect characters. Fuck it. Uh, I actually found Margot Robbie... I can't, I'm sorry to say this, Margot, because I do like you. Exceedingly annoying. Because when we've seen Harley Quinn before, she kind of appears... And does that kind of a, you know, sort of ah, yeah, 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 bit, but then she's gone. And then other things happen. But when the main focus of your film is her constantly going, ah, yeah, 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 it gets real old real quick. Because it shows that you're just a one-trick pony. Apart from when you want to do something serious, and then it feels completely out of place, because it doesn't match the rest of the tone, because you're tonally all over the shop. <sighs> Cassandra Kane. Again, nothing to do with the character whatsoever. Not one single bit. Garbage. I'm sorry. I know she's a young actress and everything. Garbage. Absolute tripe. Rene Montoya. I actually had a little bit of a soft spot, i got to say, for Rene Montoya. Uh, they, they did a couple of decent things that if this was a completely different film... Put it this way. This character, this Rene Montoya, would have actually fitted the proper DC cinematic universe. This is the proper cin- No, this, this is a fucking piece of shit. This, she would have actually fit in to that sort of Zack Schneider-esque kind of universe. And the Huntress... Oh, I, I really like Mary Elizabeth Winston. Ah! The Huntress, who, I don't know, they decided, do you know what we'll do with this character? We'll make her look like she's dressed up for an MC Hammer cosplay competition. For some reason. Um, the backstory, the Huntress is a really interesting, complex character in the comics. And they just took the, the basic elements of that. They gave her, her her backstory in as much as she was part of the Bertinelli crime family. Her parents were uh, brutally murdered. She survived. She turns into, uh, you know, an assassin. and So they took the basic elements of that. And when they showed it, you, you could see, you could see with a good writer that this actually would have been a, a really good character. This could have been a really good character. But the writer of this film was shit. Was absolute shit. Who thought... Basic humour was really funny, and it wasn't. She thought she was hilarious. Oh my god, it's so funny. Let's have Harley Quinn sit on a sofa eating cereal. And wasn't funny at all. And so what we got was the basic backstory, and then we got, I haven't got rage issues! And then everyone just goes, oh, you're great, you're great, you're great, you're great. Let's all validate each other. Fucking tripe. Absolute tripe. Oh, and uh, uh, look, spoilers, you know, cause, <sighs> because don't see this film, people. Don't waste your money on this film. I mean, I'm telling you right now, if you go to see this film at the cinema, you're going to leave as if you got ripped off. Uh, so I'm going to go through some spoiler elements now. Uh, so if you don't want to know, you've, you've heard basically all you need to hear. This film is dog shit. Um, but it, uh, you know the, uh, the hyena... In the trailers, yeah, it, it does nothing. It, you pretty much saw all of the hyena in the film. In the trailers. Why did you even have it? Because, oh, remember in Batman the Animated Series where Harley has a couple of hyenas? Hyena. Oh, never mind. Um, so, yeah, that, that's pretty much all, all of the hyena. Done. Right. Oh, God. Right, I'm going to try and remember the film. It's 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 leaving my brain. It starts off with Harley doing a voiceover, and uh, she has split with Mr. J, and she wants a sandwich. Because that's funny. It's funny. Laugh. It's funny. And so she gets the best sandwich in town, even though the meat's six months old. <laughs> the fuck is this film? And then she's being chased by people who are trying to get her because it's all out of sequence to start with. 
Oh no, I've got to rewind back three days to tell you about this bit. And now I've got to rewind you back. And then she's just being chased everywhere and people are after her and she wants a sandwich and they all gunk after her and then she drops the sandwich and she gets mad because she drops the sandwich. That's the beginning of the film. That was a clap for how clever you are. Fuck me. Uh, it's... God, this film is shite. Uh, I can't even remember what happens. Oh, God. And then what? Cassandra pickpockets Mr. Zaz, who's, again, nothing like Mr. Zaz from the comics other than he kills people and marks himself. Um... He has a diamond. <laughs> oh, God, fuck, I've just remembered. This is the motivation of the film, right? This is the motivation of the film. Roman Sionis, Black Mask, Ewan McGregor, who runs Gotham and is one of the richest people in Gotham and owns everyone, uh, wants a diamond so that he can... The Bertinelli diamond. Do you see where the Huntress comes in? Oh, no, she doesn't. They don't give a fuck about that. Just saying. Um, he wants the Bertinelli diamond so that he can own every judge and lawyer in this city or something, but he already owns them because he owns Gotham. It makes no sense at all why he wants this diamond. It would have made more sense if he just went, I just want the diamond. It would have made more sense. But this is a guy who's apparently got everybody in his pocket. But he needs more money to get everyone in his pocket. Fuck. Oh, whatever. It's stupid. And uh, Cassandra pickpockets it from Mr. Zaz and then she gets arrested and then... Black Mask wants to kill Harley Quinn because she's now lo no longer with the Joker and therefore she's no longer under the Joker's protection so she's fair game. So everyone that she's pissed off wants to kill Z-Willsies her. And so she says, hey, don't kill z Willsies, Black Mask. I'll get the girl and you'll get the diamond. And the girl, because comedy, swallows the diamond. So Harley Quinn tries to do... Fuck my asshole. She... There is a scene in a fucking 100 minute film where Harley Quinn and this girl are going around a supermarket shopping. Then they go back to Harley's apartment and they sit down and eat some cereal while watching cartoons. Why are these scenes in this film? Is this comedy? Is this meant to be comedy? Nobody in the cinema laughed. I know there wasn't many of us. Nobody laughed at all during this film. I'm telling you right now, folks. Nobody laughed. Whatsoever. I kept turning to my mate going, what the f... And he kept turning to me. Why? What is going on? This film is a cluster fucking mess. Absolute mess. So, uh, Black Mass says, oh, as... <sighs> Because Harley Quinn's going after the diamond for me, I'm just going to send a bunch of mercenaries to go after the diamond as well. Whatever. So she turns up to the police station and she beanbags everyone and all the police don't do anything or shoot at her or anything at all. They're just like, oh, look, it's a five foot five woman with a beanbag gun. Let's all run like girls. But that's the least of this fucking film's problems. So she's like, where's the, oh, hi there, where's the girl? Because that's all she does. And then uh, she goes down to the jail cells and then gets her out of the jail. And then to get her out of the jail, she malfunctions something. So all the jail cells open. So all the prisoners come out and just like, hey, Harley Quinn, let's fuck you up for some reason that's not explained. And she's like, oh, it's another choreographed fight scene where everyone could just wait their turn for me to kick their out. The fight. Oh, God. This game is horrible. This film was dog shit. And then the express order is not to kill Cassandra Kane to bring her in alive because she's got the diamond. So everyone starts shooting at them. 
And then they go, no, don't shoot at her. But let's just shoot again. And then let's not shoot. Because we can't make up his fucking mind. The only choreographed scene that I actually quite liked was when Harley Quinn sniffed a lot of cocaine. Where they, you see in the trailer, they shoot the cocaine and she just goes, I'm coked up! And then goes and kicks everyone's ass. And do you know why I actually quite like that choreographed scene? Because they didn't feel so choreographed. She just goes out there, she does a drop kick, she falls flat on the floor from doing so. She, she then just kind of like does a couple of dodges and whatnot and just brutally starts hitting people with the bat, breaks a couple of legs. And it just looks a bit more visceral and a bit more realistic as opposed to, I'm going to swing left, you dodge right, do we do a pirouette, you pirouette. Because everything just feels so choreographed for the most part, quite badly. Which is weird, because apparently it's the guy from John Wick. Maybe he was just like, yeah, I'm just cashing this one in. <laughs> uh, and then, um, I don't know. Harley Quinn's just like, I'm not going to kill you now. I guess. And then, the, uh, by the way, uh, it takes... Uh, 85 minutes for them to get together <laughs> in a 100 minute film it takes 85 minutes for them to come together as one and be the birds of prey even though uh harley quinn and cassandra crane leave them straight afterwards so they just are three people oh whatever fucking so uh uh and then they they end up at a circus and they kill everyone and uh, then they kill black mass that's the end of that shit right let's talk about uh, a couple of good things right so yeah there's there's the there's the silly woke moments for hit they're just scattered here and there you know this film is not like i said this film ain't woke it's just shit you know they just throw in the the old line oh men bad white bad uh white rich bad um women's amazing right just take that as given because you know this this writer is fucking shocking um, there is a scene where she, uh, the writer I'm talking about here, wants to show off that Black Mask is a is a horrible misogynist. Okay, so he gets told by Mister Zaz that they found Cassandra, but Cassandra got away again, and he gets really mad. And then there's a woman in a booth with a couple of guys and a, another guy and a woman or something, and she's just laughing away. And Roman is losing his shit because he's so mad. Because he, he has, uh, you know, rage, is rage issues. That is true. When he doesn't get his way, he gets very... Urgh! And then, of course, he says a misogynistic uh, comment. Because man uh, may, may also be a bigot. But, you know, let's just put that as by the by. But it's not even... No, man. Anyway. So he goes over to the woman. He's just like, hi. Because she knows him and he knows her. Oh, what are you laughing at? Oh, you got to hit. Then he just goes mad and says, get on the table. And she gets on the table. My club, get on the table. So she gets on the table. And he's just like, oh, your dress is trash. Get that dress off. Rip that dress off. Rip that dress off her. So they, they rip the dress off her. She's got a bra on and stuff. And, she, you know, you don't see anything. And she's, like, covering herself up and she's crying. And that scene, which is just, oh, look, isn't he such a pig? That scene actually was really good. For all the for all the reasons that the writer didn't want it to be good. It was good because it it was very awkward to watch and uncomfortable to watch and it actually made black mask have a bit of character horrible character but he's the bad guy so you kind of want that really and it showed good range by ewan mcgregor and it said to me again just like Rene montoya my god just imagine if they took ewan mcgregor as black mask and actually put him in a serious you know when i say serious superhero film and to a serious batman he actually could have made a, a real decent villain if he was allowed to to shine in the part apart from being in this dog dog shit and that was that was quite annoying because you and mcgregor did have some really good moments of, of 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 being very kind very nice and then just being awful and then just turning on a dime easily the best character in the film so this this awkward uncomfortable scene to watch was actually the best because you did not like Black Mask in this scene. You hated him. 
And that's exactly what you want for your villain. As opposed to this bint, who's been going around, going, oh, I'm a sort of good guy, I'm away from, but I'm a bad guy, but I'm a... What? You've been killing people and doing all kinds of shite. You can't play the moral card. Or you can't play the victim. <laughs> You've been running around with Mr. J doing the most hideous of things. It doesn't work. It's, it's a stupid film that doesn't know what it's doing in terms of tone or what it's trying to actually say. Because it tries to paint Harley as the hero. And she's no hero. Even when, even when they try and make her, you know, the crook and the thief and all that sort of stuff, she's no hero. She's just bad. For, and you can you can have oh she's been mentally da -da -da by the Joker for years and years and all that kind of crap. But at the end of the day, she's bad. And you don't I don't think in any way, shape, or form you actually empathize or sympathize with this character. The most sympathetic character is probably Montoya. Uh, it's dreadful. It's absolutely dreadful. Uh, don't go see this film. Don't waste your money on this film. Uh, they've marketed it as woke. They've marketed it as empowerment for women. Women, this doesn't empower you one bit. This patronizes you for the most part, which is ironic because it was written by a woman. It, it, it's not, it's not worth your while. And it's a shame because Ewan McGregor put in a good stint and... Like I said, quite like Montoya, and I think they could have done some decent things with uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead as the Huntress. Uh, but no, it, it's it's annoying. Uh, it's messy. It's unfunny. It's boring. And at one hour 40 minutes, it goes on for an hour and 20 minutes longer than it probably should have done. For what material they had to work with. And it doesn't make sense. The motivation of the whole film with the diamond. Don't make sense. So there you go. Uh, Birds of Prey. Tripe. Trash. Don't watch it. Don't go anywhere near it. Hope you enjoyed the vid. <laughs> if you did, do get a thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.